Well, Taiwan's army is ready for war after first strike, defense chief says. The military will be prepared for war if it was forced to counter a first strike by the Chinese People's Liberation Army, the PLA. Minister of National Defense Chu Kyung said yesterday at the legislature. The Chinese National Party, Zhang Chen, asked Chu to elaborate on a comment he made on Tuesday that incursions by the PLA's uncrewed aerial vehicles, that's UAVs, into Taiwan's territorial airspace would now be considered a first strike, necessitating countermeasures. Zhang specifically asked what those countermeasures would be. The military would first lock onto intruding UAVs as a warning, which, if not heeded, would prompt a defensive counterattack, Chu said. Asked by Chiang whether the counterattack would be aimed at repelling intruding PLA aircraft or preventing a second strike, Chu said, I don't see it that way. After the first strike, we will be ready to respond to further attacks. Chiang asked whether launching a counterattack against a first strike would mean the two sides were going to war. Quote, yes, in which case the situation would be very serious, Chu said. That's why the military has been exercising self-restraint and does not pull the trigger recklessly. Chu said during a legislative interpolation session on Wednesday last week that if the PLA flew aircraft onto Taiwan's territorial airspace, it would be deemed a first strike, prompting the military to launch countermeasures. On Tuesday, he said that in the past, a first strike was defined as an artillery attack. But since the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, has been changing its tactics by increasing the frequency of its drone incursions into Taiwan's territorial airspace, causing a lot of trouble, such incursions would now be defined as a first strike. So very serious developments, as we know, continue in the Taiwan-China airspace and arena. We'll keep you updated. Stay with TNS. We'll talk to you at the next report.